Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we're working on page two. Page two is pretty simple. Um, I guess the whole album is pretty simple. Um, you're gonna start with a pocket that is uh, four, four and a half by seven. You're gonna score a half inch on three of the four sides. And so you'll have a finished four by six pocket that is gonna go installed on the right hand side. And it's a sideways pocket, so it's going to go edge to edge, horizontal, uh, vertical. Okay, and then to keep everything inside our pocket, we've got this flap, which is five and a half by six. You're going to score a half inch on the five and a half inch side. <clears throat> And then we're going to hold everything together with a magnet. I'm going to draw a quick line so I can see how far down my flap goes and make sure that I put my magnet in between those spaces. And then still be far enough away from the edge that it's not exposed when I put my designer paper down. There we go. So that is page, what page is this? I thought I wrote it, there it is, page two. <laughs> I'll put it on the top flap now, page two. Okay, uh, when we get back together, we'll decorate this. Hey everyone, it's Daphne, and we're finishing up on page two. And I've got my, I think I've got everything inked and laid out, so this should go pretty fast. Um, we're going to do a little, not a lot, but a little bit of color blocking on the inside. There's our pocket. Um, so I'm going to set the inside pieces aside for a second. Let's go ahead and get the pocket down. Verify that I got ink on it, and I do. Uh, eight by eight which is easy to tell by the flip side. I'm so excited to see the book finished with all the pages in it. I'm, I'm very anxious. I'm really happy with the way the box turned out. So I'm hoping the rest of the project um, turns out just as well. Okay, so the next piece is going to go here. This is from the Patterns and Solids. And it's just going to slip right into the pocket like so. I think this collection is so pretty. It's so easy to work with. The patterns just sort of fall together for you. Most of them are that way with graphic, but this one in particular seems really easy to work with. And black and pink, I think, go together nicely. And we just need to inch it up a little, get it centered. That looks really good. Okay, now when I was trimming this out, this is a four inch pocket. That means I could split my um, my eight by eight and a half. So the other half is going on this side. So bas basically both of these are uh, roughly four inch panels if you want to color block like I'm doing. So I think I'm going to, oops, it goes this way. So you can see it's just a continuous pattern. I cut a strip off. I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the thin strip first and then place this piece. Just in case I need to trim it, it's easier to trim the large piece than, than the small piece. And this is just about an inch 
it's actually a smidge less, but it's very close. So I would, if I was trimming it out, um, I would just do an inch. And then um, you can always trim this down a little bit more if you need to. Okay, let's see. Do we need to trim this? Just a tiny bit. Not much. Oh, so little, I'm not even sure I took any off. Uh, maybe a little more off one edge. There we go. That should do it. Let's see how we did. Yep, that looks good. Okay, let's go ahead and ink it and glue it down. And I'm going to put a an insert in here, and I think I'm going to use an ephemera card, but I might also do a 5 by 7 We're so early in the book, I don't know how much paper I'm going to have left. So right now I'm just going to reserve a spot for one of the ephemera cards to go in there, which I will add a little bit later. I don't have them in here with me. But if I have enough paper, I'm probably going to do a 5 by 7 insert as well as an ephemera card, which would be 4 by 6 And then, of course, you can get a photo here, photo here, here. And now let's go ahead and do the cover, which is this beautiful pattern, which is also from the 8x8 eight eight collection pack. Okay, again, this is page two, open like so-and-so. I am gonna have some inserts in here. I'm, I'm not prepared to lay them in right now. This might be the right size. Our weather's changing on us. So this is about a four by six. Uh, it's four by five and five and a half. So I'll have something in here, um, and it'll be an ephemera card, and maybe a 5x7 insert also, but I'll go over that a little bit later after I've covered the main parts of the rest of the book. Okay, thanks everyone!